I'd like to talk about, uh, you know, sometimes on this show, I like to speak on math. A lot of people think that math is a useless skill you don't lose, use in your everyday lives. They, of course, when are am I ever gonna incorrect. Use it? When uh, am I ever going to use it? You'd be surprised how easy it is to teach algebra to children when you phrase it in such a way that makes them understand you use algebra every day of your life. When? Uh, all the fucking time. Give all me the... one example. I'll give you a perfect example. If you have $25. Uh-huh. And you go to a bar and drinks cost $6 a piece right. and you're a terrible tipper. How many drinks can you buy? I have no idea. That's that's algebra. That's algebra. It's all about the phrasing. Really, most arithmetic expressions are phrased in a way that they would be algebra if you completed the equation posed to children. They just don't know it. But you know what? You don't have to listen to me when it comes so to math. Saying... I'm going to get too complicated. Let's look at some simpler math. When it comes to consumer products that people use on a daily basis, you have to assume that the math related to them is set up in such a way that the layman can understand it. And that's certainly the case when it comes to paper towels. Oh! Oh, boy. There's regular math, theoretical math, and then there's the math we apply to all of these absolutely real and I swear to God not photoshopped packages Great of Scott pick on paper the song, towels. By the Let's way. break it not down. Bad, if you yeah. buy 12 mega rolls of Scott paper towels, that's actually like 22 regular rolls, which now follow me here is like getting two more rolls for free. Not 10, but two somehow. Now, if you decide to go with the six mega roll package, well, that's like 11 regular rolls, meaning it's like getting one more for free. It just makes sense. Don't mix up mega rolls and big rolls because six big rolls is equal to 10 regular rolls, which is like getting two more rolls for free. Got it? Six big rolls is like 10 regular rolls, which is two more than six, and six mega rolls is like 11, which is Wait, one what? more than six. Uh, Got it? Now, just so we're clear, 15 mega rolls is like 22 regular rolls, because apparently sometimes a mega roll is 146% the size of a regular roll. Wait, what? But 30 mega rolls is like 56 regular rolls, because apparently sometimes a mega roll is 186% the size of a regular roll. Except when it's a big roll. You see, 15 big rolls equals 26 regular rolls, because sometimes big rolls are 173% the size of a regular roll. Because that's 27 percent bigger than a mega roll if it is a mega roll that comes in a package of 15. And you know, <laughs> why I said 15 mega rolls is like 22 rolls? Because oh look God. out! According to this other packaging, 15 mega rolls is actually equal to 28 regular what? rolls, meaning that in this packaging, each mega roll is 40 percent bigger compared to the other packaging Whoa. that is also That's like quantum mega, mega rolls. But wait! <laughs> I said six mega rolls was like 11 regular rolls and six big rolls was like 10 regular rolls Well, I left out the fact that when you've got six mega rolls with quick absorbing ridges, <laughs> unlike these sad, pathetic, regular absorbing ridges, that is like nine regular rolls, but without the packaging helping me understand how many additional regular rolls I'm getting, I have no idea, and the thing I was hoping to wipe up is now dry and will require something stronger than a paper towel. Well, it makes sense to me, man. Nicely God damn. Done. Wow. Makes sense to me. That was insanity. Uh, but I, but yeah. I, I, the math makes perfect sense to me. Well, I mean, that was airtight. The it was math as, on that was airtight. It was as airtight as it gets because six does only equal 11 sometimes and I'd 10 also sometimes. Also, 10 some other yeah. times. Yeah. That's and then true. also nine if it has ridges, yeah. you know? Yeah, right. Because the ridges, they expand the space. Yeah, it's scientific. You probably don't understand it, but it makes total That's sense. True. You are a poor scientist. I'm saying, Cherokee <laughs> Gal says, so which paper towels should I buy, Phil? Well, those were clearly Scott paper towels, so I say brawny. I say bounty. Really? Yeah, it's the quicker picker-upper, bro. Yeah, but brawny has nah, got Viva. the... Brawny's so Viva. That's, That's what the... you use to make, like, whenever you put fondant on cake to keep it from looking all shitty, you pat it down with Viva because it's got no pores. No, you know? dude, Viva's the smooth. one you get where you think it's cheaper to buy 10 cent cheaper rolls, but you got to use nine fucking paper towels to clean <laughs> nah, it. Nah, Viva's the shit, dude.